Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about Thevenin's theorem uh, from Network Analysis by Mr. Alexander and Sadiku's book. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 10.62, for which a student has requested. So let's see, this is the question. Use Thevenin's theorem to find V0 in this circuit. So this is V0. The voltage across two ohm resistor and the circuit is in time domain you can see it's t and a small values so they are all representative of time domain circuit so the first thing we're going to do is convert the circuit into phasor domain or frequency domain and i hope you remember that for converting from time domain to frequency domain the voltage source we just write the magnitude and phase angle. Now the angle is zero here. And here also we should note that normally we write cos omega t. That means omega is one here. And so we'll note that down, omega is one. Then we'll convert the uh, inductor g omega l and putting the value of uh, omega 1 and L2 Henry it becomes J2. Then the capacitors, two capacitors, 1 over F is written as 1 over J omega C and putting the values, we get it minus 4. Now point here to note, which we'll also be using subsequently, that is when it is 1 over J, it becomes equal to minus J. And when it is 1 over minus J, it becomes equal to plus j okay and similarly 1 over 8 will be minus j8 so our circuit will now in frequency domain become like this this is the voltage source these are the capacitor values inductor values and now we'll solve this circuit we have to use Thevenin's theorem okay so if you recall, the first thing we do for Thevenin's theorem is we remove the load. Now this is the load because across this we want to find the voltage. So this is our load, so we remove this load. And then we find two things. One is Z, another is V Thevenin. Z Thevenin, V Thevenin. So let's find Z Thevenin first. And for Z Thevenin, again, you have to remember that the voltage source or the current source, they are made zero. Now the voltage source is short-circuited and current source is open-circuited. So here voltage source will short-circuit it. The other thing you have to keep in mind that there is a dependent source here. We don't touch or don't do anything with the dependent source. But for finding Z Thevenin, we connect a test voltage source or test current source at the output terminal. So just shown here. So you have to keep this point in mind. And so this is short circuited and we have connected a test voltage source of one volt. Now what is the advantage of connecting one volt test voltage source? Because we know that Z Thevenin is V over I, and V here is one volt, so one volt divided by I. That means if you can find I X, then we can find Z Thevenin. So our next aim is to find I X. We'll take help of nodal analysis to find I X. And this node we're calling one, this is two, this name will give it, we could have given V1 or we're just saying Vx. I'm following the solution manual so we, you don't get uh, diverted or disturbed. Vx and this voltage, again, instead of writing V2, we are writing this voltage 1 volt here. Next, we'll mark the current direction. Up to you which way you go. I'm just taking this direction, entering current and these three leaving at node one. And similarly at node two, this is entering, this is also entering, this Ix is also entering, and I4 is leaving. 
Okay, so at node 1, the KCL equation will be I0 entering and plus I1, I2, I3 leaving. Now, we, we write these in terms of voltages now. So, this current is actually, this is our ground, 0 point, so 0 minus Vx divided by I0. Now, if you have doubt understanding the nodal analysis, I have my videos in details, so you should go through that. Anyway, 0 minus Vx divided by this uh, resistance 4. Similarly, for I1, this one is Vx minus 0 divided by this. Third one is Vx minus 1 divided by J2. And the fourth one is 3I0. But I0 from here, you can see this is I0, which is minus vx over 4 actually 0 minus vx over 4 we ignore 0 so we write minus vx over 4 so this is ix so where in place of i0 also we write minus vx over 4 and then all we have to do is simplify moving uh, to one side breaking this into two parts taking Vx common from all of these and then we can solve it by any method. You can take the LCM over and then solve. But I think it is easier here if we take in fraction. So you can just write 0 0.25. This is now 1 over minus J is uh, as we have said, it will be plus J. So plus J 0 0.25. This will be minus J. Uh, 0 0.5 and this way we have written all then adding we get this relation and from here vx is j 0 0.5 divided by uh, this value zero, minus 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.25 now you can use your calculator in the normal mode and go through a lengthy process of solving Converting this into polar, converting this into polar, then dividing all those. But there is an easy way, I'll tell you, and that is using a calculator in complex mode. So let's see, this is our cal uh, calculator. The first thing we'll do is clear whatever is there. So we press shift, clear is 9, and then all clear, 3, equal sign, yes and AC, so it is clear. Now we'll go to complex mode, so we press the mode switch, two for complex, so two. So we are in complex mode. Now we'll just enter this. So this is fraction values, so we press there. Top is minus 0 0.5, for J we write I, so minus 0 0.5, and this is I. So minus 0 0.5 i and then we come down minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.25 i minus 0 0.25 i move ahead equal sign so this is value in fraction will press this SD sign so the answer is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8 i or j so this is vx now at node 2 again we will write the uh, um, KCL equation this current entering this is entering this is entering and this one leaving so Writing the equation, same way, replacing I0 by minus Vx over 4. Dividing and taking writing in decimal form. So this is final equation for Ix. Now we'll replace Vx by this value. So replacing and again solving the same technique that I have told you with the help of the calculator in complex mode. This is Ix. Now, 
we have i x we know z seven n is one over or v over i x so one over this value so we get in rectangular form and from here you can convert it into polar form so let me show you uh, with the help of calculator again so we are here clear one divided by minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 2 pi i equal sign so this is in rectangular form as this is 0 point minus 0 0.5245 and it's not visible now but uh, this is the answer written but we need to convert this into polar form so for that there's a technique again here we go to shift and this is but Two is complex. The two and three is r theta. R theta equal sign. And this is in a root form. We will press S D again. It is two point two nine minus one zero three. So let's see. It was two point two nine minus one zero three angle. So this is how you get the z thevenin. Now let's go for b thevenin same circuit this is removed this point is the v thevenin and voltage uh, voltage is here and now we are at we're calling this v1 and v2 and keep in mind that v2 is actually v thevenin so just for ease we are writing it v2 current directions and then at node 1, this is current entering, so 12 minus V1 divided by this resistance 4, then 3I leaving V1 over J4 leaving V1 minus V2 over J2, and putting value of I2 from here. So this becomes our equation. Now the easiest, uh, earlier we had done it by decimal, now there I'll tell you another technique. If it is like this, then it is easier to multiply by the uh, LCM. LCM is 4, so we're multiplying by 4, and then you see this cuts, and then 12 minus V1, and similarly, I hope you can follow 36 minus 3 V1. So this is our equation. We'll rearrange in terms of V1 and V2. So this is in terms of V1 and V2, further rearranging or removing the minus sign. So this is our equation number one from here. The other node, node number two, entering is I3, 3I0, Entering is this one, V1 minus V2 over J2, and leaving is a V2 over J8. Here also, will uh, I, I not we are replacing with the value of uh, this value. Then multiply by the calcium 8, rearranging, further rearranging, removing the minus sign so this is our equation number two okay so these two equations now we have to solve and remember we want to find v theven and that means we want to find v2 we are not interested in v1 so one way and the long way is that you get the value of v1 from here put it here and then solve and spend all day the easiest way is to write it in terms of a uh, Kramer's rule. And the Kramer's rule says that V2 will delta 2 over delta. And what is delta and delta 2? We find from the matrix equation. From here, we have written the matrix equation. 
if you have doubt i have many videos explaining this so you can watch those okay and now this is delta and we can solve by cross multiplying this value and finally again going into the complex mode if you solve you get this answer then delta 2 is actually you replace the second column with the output the second column we have replaced with the output again cross multiply and solving we get minus j24 and so v thevenin is v2 is delta 2 over delta delta 2 we have got this value and delta value so solving uh, you get 3.073 angle minus 219.8 now let me show you uh, and there is a doubt that we can also clarify here the last part i'm showing uh, minus 24i divided by minus 5 plus 6i equal so this is the value in rectangular form but we want to convert it into polar form you could have done also through sd this is the value but we need in polar form so we go to shift complex 3 answer okay so this is the answer we press sd to write it neatly so 3.07 3.073 angle is different 140.19 here it is minus 219.8 now just one point you have to remember that any angle if we add 360 with that or subtract 360 with that the value does not change so like if you add 360 with this one you will get 140 plus or if you subtract and uh, 360 from 140 you get this 290 so the answer is correct same answer whether you write 0 0.037 minus 219 or you write this value it's the same answer okay so we have got the thevenins now z thevenin and v thevenin remember we have to find v out which was the voltage across two ohm resistor this is our thevenin equivalent circuit we connect the two ohm resistor and this voltage we have to find now this is remember we are still in frequency domain this we can find by voltage deviation rule this is our source and these two so by voltage division rule v out will be 2 divided by 2 plus z thevenin putting in the values of v thevenin and z thevenin so we'll get the answer i hope you have learned the technique by now so the answer is 2.3 minus 163.3 now this is v out in phasor form so we have to convert it into time domain the time domain is small v out this is the magnitude 2.3 then cosine omega t omega is one so cosine t and minus this angle or plus this angle so plus minus 163 so this is the answer i hope you have been able to follow please let me know through your comments share it with your friends thank you